Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. We're out here in the shop looking at this Steel FS55R. Used unit. Um, one I'm looking to flip. I don't know, I might keep this one for myself. I need a trimmer. I kind of sold the last good one I had. Now I need to do work at my own place. So we might keep this one. Anyway, I've already gone through it. Um, piston looks great. Cylinder looks great. Uh, spark arrestor was clogged. So I pulled that out, popped the new one in. Um, I think the spark plug was even still really good. The only problems we're having really is with the carburetor. Now, the I pulled it apart, cleaned it, but the diaphragm and the seals that are in there ended up ripping when pulling it apart. And so I reached out to my friends over at Hippo Parts Company, and they sent me over a full service kit. So I figured I'd show you guys what you get in the kit for this. Now, I'll admit, I'm not sure if I'll run their spark plug. I like running my uh, NGKs, so we'll see. But uh, here we are. Um, so, new carburetor, extra primer bulb, gas line, fuel filter, air filter, which is like an actual nice stiff air filter, very comparable to the uh, stock steel oem ones and their spark plug um sap spark plug copper core i don't know much about these hmm. we'll see how it does we'll try it out at least so i'm gonna walk you guys through how to uh swap all these parts out on this unit be sure to stick around give me a thumbs up hit subscribe hit that bell hit all let's get into it all right, guys, so really to get going, you're going to need an 8 millimeter deep well socket. Um, your scrunch with a torque bit head. All right, I'll try to have links to tools that are the same or similar down below. First things first, we've got to remove that air cover. Pull that old oily filter out, get that out of the way. Next, remove the nuts in here. I think everything is still loose from the last time I worked on it. Get to that point where you can start maneuvering the carburetor around a little bit. I'm going to come over here to this side. You're going to have a cable that wraps up and around. It's connected to the carburetor. Now, your view might not be that great. So, you look down here. You'll see the throttle lever you can lift up. When you do that, you'll see that the cable has a lot of slack. And you can pop that cable right out of the carburetor. And then you pull your carburetor back. And usually, you can get this thing to come right off. Gas line's still intact. Now... We're already in here, so I'm just going to replace these with the ones they gave me. It's simple enough. Before you guys even start, though, it's a good idea. Drain your gas tank. I'm going to pop the top, release any pressure, but there it is. Carburetor's off. Just replace that while we're in here. I'm going to put my new fuel filter on my new gas line. And here is the old one. Now, sometimes it doesn't want to just come up. Take a flathead. little persuasion and everything comes up and out a little discoloration on this filter this line is in so so shape it's not too bad there is a little bit of stress in the uh the rubber here i could see starting to get a little dry it's usually when they start cracking but we're good we are gonna just replace it so how's this guy go back in right you're looking at this thing you're like geez how the heck in the world does this go in well yeah the longer end should be that way shorter end near the gas tank cover so when your carburetor goes on short and long we'll meet up like that probably makes no sense until we start doing it <laughs> it's all right fish that in there this is important. You really need to make sure that this is seated in all the way or you're going to have problems. You can always take a little bit of white lithium grease and go around where this is going to seal. 
I try to put the back in first and then pop the front down in. Now, if you decide I'm gonna use a screwdriver, you need to make sure you're using a screwdriver that has rounded edges if you feel the need to force anything in place. In this case, I'm gonna use the screwdriver just to pull the little flap up that overhangs because it's pushed into the ceiling spot. So it's kind of crinkled in there just a little bit. We don't want to tear or rip anything. So boom, that's in. A little twist is needed, but there we go. Now we've got our new carburetor. I mean, like we are already rolling, guys. You're just about totally done with this job. So I'm going to hit short one with the bottom one. All right, so the short gas line will go here, long gas line will go there. All right, guys, so the short line is going to go to the bottom neck. The top longer line goes to the top neck. Should be a good snug fit. I'm going to get the carburetor worked on just a little bit, but we still got to put this on. Now there is a little hole up in here and you got a little tab on this piece. That should pop in like so. But first you got to get in here, push that throttle piece down, kind of in reverse of what we just did. Put your throttle cable in. I know it's hard to see, but when your hands are on it, it'll make sense. And as you slide back, make sure that plastic tab goes into the hole. Which, sometimes it's a little tricky to get it lined up. Push it all back. So when you let go, though, it may pop out. So what I try to do is kind of have everything ready to go here. Have my air box ready to go. Now, I did forget something. Totally forgot to put it on, I'll admit. I just realized I totally forgot to put it on. We're going to have to pull this back off. It's all right. It's good practice. <laughs> Pull this all back off, except your gas lines. Carburetor off. Should have a little seal. Put that on first. Pop that seal on. We want a good seal once our carburetor's hooked up. All these holes seem to align like they're supposed to. Now let's retake that carb. Slide that guy back. Take that piece we were just messing with. Rehook. Push, boom, back on. <laughs> Let's take our air box. The seal is still on this air box, so I'm going to leave it. But if it's not, they gave you a new one. I'll save that for another one in case I need it in the future. Take our air box, push that on. Put our new filter in, put our cover back on, hook it, swing it. Good to go. Boom. Everything seems to work. Grab your trigger. Everything moves. I'm going to pull the spark plug that's in here. I believe it's got a Bosch. We're going to try theirs. And just see how their plug works with the unit. I'm going to be honest. I use their carburetors and their gas lines often. On my own units as needed. And on units that I flip. So I really haven't had any issues with uh, the HIPAA parts carburetors whatsoever. Spark plugs... I'm not sure. Like I said, usually I like to use my uh, my NGKs. So if this doesn't fire right up and run well with this, no big deal. We'll just put an NGK in it. Now, I will have links below, guys, through Amazon. Um, you guys buy through those links. They seriously help support the channel. I do appreciate it. We sell a lot of carburetors through these links through HIPAA parts. I can actually see returns if someone were to return them because they don't work. And we don't have any HIPAA parts returns so that's a plus all right guys spark plugs in filter all this stuff is done let's uh let's go put some fuel in it see how uh 
see how she runs. Haven't made any adjustments to this carburetor or anything. Right now it's just stock, factory, is what it is, the way it comes. So we'll put some fuel in it, we'll prime it up together and uh, see if she fires right up and how she works. Now again, parts, tools, that kind of stuff will be on Amazon down below. If you guys want to buy through there, help support the channel and the videos that I'm putting out. And I really, really do appreciate it. With that, let's head outside. So I figured I'd let you guys know we're running 91 octane using the steel HP Ultra 50 to 1 mix. Same stuff I use in my chainsaws for carving. That's what I do full time in case you guys don't know. If you guys are interested in seeing me run saws and chainsaw carve, you can check out my other channel, Kyle Hall Woodworker. Tutorials, time lapse, we got all kinds of carving videos over there. So, all right, here's that. I'm gonna prime this. Eight times I'm starting to get fuel in. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Now I'm really getting fuel in the bulb. I did it about 18. It's probably more than I need, but. Let's uh, put this on choke, make sure we're on. Let's see where we're at. that trigger down. Darn it. Let's see. Here we go. Well, I'd say that's about it. I'm not going to take care of the lawn in these shorts because that's no fun. But uh, <laughs> I think I'll go throw some jeans on and do some cleanup. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Be sure to check out those links for carburetor kit from HIPAA Parts down below through Amazon. Really do appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, check out some other videos, and uh, have an awesome day.